Hey guys, it's Mr. Tech here. Today we got a Paris comparison between an iPhone 3GS running 4.0.2 not jailbroken versus the iPod Touch first generation who which is running the 4.0 mod for 3.1.3. So, uh, you can see if everybody saw the video before, I'm actually going to pull out my iPhone 4 as well. So that it's kind of a three-way comparison. So, we got the legit firmware, legit firmware, not legit firmware, but looks pretty real. So let's just slide to unlock on all these, and we can see how similar it looks. So right now on the home screen, they all look pretty similar. I'm just going to adjust that glare for you guys. Um, so yeah, they all look pretty similar. Now let's just go and try to open up some categories right there it's um, pretty fast speed everybody knows that for some reason the iPhone 3G has a slight speed reduction in 4.0 now this is not jailbroken so we're gonna see how exactly it handles if we just go over to here you can see that I actually have 63 megabytes of RAM on my iPod touch 1G let's just wait for that to focus and it doesn't want to focus. So we're just going to zoom out. And, well, that says 63 megabytes, as you can see right there. So that's very fast for this. Now, an iPhone 4, that's not the fastest, but for this device, that is extremely fast. See, my iPhone 4 is going at about 200 megabytes. On average, you can get it up to about 400. So on the iPhone 3G, I can't test it because it's not jailbroken yet. Uh, probably going to be doing a tutorial video on that. But I just wanted to keep it unjailbroken for these purposes. So um, let's just launch a few apps. Let's open up settings. Now the iPhone 3G does not have multitasking where the iPod Touch first generation does. So you can see that there was a slight um, advantage on the iPhone 3G, but it's not a huge deal. Let's see. But if we have multitasking running, the obvious winner, the iPod Touch 1G, as you can see right there. And the speed reduction isn't that huge when you have the multitasking running. So let's go ahead and open up photos. And you can see right there, um, they, you can see, so, and this is still running multitasking. This one does not have multitasking. So, that's just something to keep in mind. So if we open it up again, you can see the obvious winner. So, that was just a couple little tests. The categories definitely looks pretty good. Of course, you don't have the multitasking on the iPhone 3G, but trust me, this way is much better than native native multitasking on the iPhone 3G. I just tested it and multitasking right here is much much better. Um, the custom app switcher that we modified it definitely looks and works better. And over here is my iPhone 4. It's kind of the beast of these two. Uh, let's just do a three-way three-way uh, settings and see that the iPod Touch 1G actually won that because of multitasking um, so let's just hit the home button on all of these this is very hard to do I didn't hit the home button on the iPhone 3G that fast but let's try just this the iPod Touch 1G versus the iPhone 4 let's just go and it's not a bad speed uh, at all. The iPod Touch 1G is running really, really fast. So guys, this is Mr. Aegis Tech. If you want more comparisons with the iPhone 3G, um, jailbroken or not, just leave a comment down below. If you want some more comparisons on the iPhone 4 and more info on the iPod Touch 1G hack, um, it's definitely coming along, and soon I'll be able to demonstrate this with my iPhone 2G when it's fixed. 
So guys, this is Mr. AJ Stay tuned for more videos, and yeah, see you.